In my last video talk, I discussed the impact of COVID-19 and the lockdown on the work culture as to how work from home will now become a norm. Today, I would be discussing how the travel, hotel and tourism sectors have got hugely devastated by the coronavirus pandemic in India and globally. Alexei Kravchenko, economic affairs officer at the UNSCAP office, has, has rightly said in his article that many estimates are being thrown around about the, the potential impact of COVID-19 on global and uh, domestic economies. Perhaps the only thing they agree on at this stage is that it will be bad. Yes, it will be bad. The main source of disagreement seems to be on exactly how bad it is going to get. The answer largely depends on a number of things. How long the pandemic will last, the severity of social distancing, restrictions on business, and the, and the magnitude and effectiveness of government stimulus packages. That's very relevant. Care Ratings Agency uh, have conducted a study on the Indian tourism industry, which is projected to book a revenue loss of rupees 1.25 trillion in the calendar year 2020 as a fallout of the shutdown of hotels and suspension of uh, flight operations due to the coronavirus pandemic. During April, June, the Indian tourism industry is expected to book a revenue loss of rupees 69,400 crores. With travel restrictions and social distancing having become a rule and preventive measure in India and worldwide, travel and tourism are at complete halt. The impact on the inbound and outbound passengers is expected to be most severe in the next couple of quarters or little more. India's total foreign tourist arrival stood at 10.9 million and the foreign exchange earnings stood at more than 200,000 crore during 2019. But now with travel restraints in India for over 80 countries and, and almost all the flights of major airlines being banned, the Indian domestic as well as foreign travel and tourism industry is expected to see a severe drastic negative impact in 2020 and beyond. You all can completely strike off vacations from your calendars and bucket lists for the next 18 to 24 months minimum. This is in light of so many factors, you know, predominantly social distancing and nations not wanting to, um, uh, you know, to take risk of importing coronavirus through tourism and travelers. And there is also complete uncertainty about COVID's own future. You will be shocked to note that the European travelers may be able to count on a special passport now to get into other EU countries. European Union is actually contemplating issuing COVID-19 passport, a kind of EU-wide health travel document which could be used by all Europeans arriving and leaving on vacation by air, road, rail and water. Tourism is obviously seen as crucial in saving economies such as Italy, Spain, France and Croatia, who depend heavily on the sector of tourism. Tourism represents 10% of EU's GDP, accounts for 12% of uh, jobs and generates over euro 400 billion in revenue as it appears under the new trend you know i see every traveler may have to carry a certificate issued by some credible health agency manifesting that he's not infected by covid 19. this will perhaps become a reality now in order for anyone to walk into a plane or a train or a bus or to a foreign nation or even interstate. 
the only hope believe me now is that the domestic travel and tourism should be expected to substitute foreign tourism demand at least for now at least for the time being for some countries this will not nearly be enough yes especially in terms of generating foreign currency revenues but what to do this is the harsh reality of today thank you